Uh, hey YouTube, Wendell Lee Well Services back at you again. Uh, thanks for tuning in for another video. Uh, I've got a unique video for you today. It's uh, what I like to call a problem solver uh, edition. Um, problems do arise in this industry just like they do in every industry. And so what I'm going to uh, take you on a case with today is um, drilled a well for a lady up in the mountains. Um, she's having her house built so we drilled a well in uh, everything appeared normal um, clean clear water no issues um, well got the pump in and um, they haven't moved into the house yet so they haven't started using their water so they were using their water you know intermittently um, you know here and there while they're putting up sheetrock putting up putting in tile um, or you know just minimal use at best and um customer kept calling uh, saying their water was a little dingy a little cloudy and so uh this is about six or seven months uh after drilling the well you know still minimal use and so uh we finally drove up there and took a look at it and what you see here is what the water looked like now this may not look that bad to you, but when we first started pumping the well, this same water here was literally the color of this orange Gatorade top. Um, you can see a bunch of stuff that's actually settled in the bottom. Uh, it was brown sediment uh, in the water itself. And so what I told her we were going to do is, obviously we were going to test the water and uh, see if she needed any. Uh, uh, treatment issues on it. Uh, we were going to do that, uh, you know, before she got moved in, anyways. But number two, what I wanted to do is uh, do a little bit of uh, well development, and um, you know, that's basically just let the pump run for uh, several hours and see if the water cleaned up itself. Um, so you know, these type of wells that we drill here in the uh, rock rock area in South Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, they're called uh, open hole wells, uh, meaning it's, you drill down to bedrock, set a casing, and then the actual hole itself through the bedrock is open. Uh, there's no screen, um, no pipe, no anything in it. And so, uh, you know, Mother Nature's different. Every well's different. Uh, some, some wells you can start pumping instantly, and they're clean and clear. And then other wells uh, take time to develop. Uh, as you can see, uh, that's not exactly what I would call uh, crystal clear water there. There, um, You know, our, our wells in the rock area aren't like coastal wells in the sand, sand country uh, that have a screen in them and that have to be developed. Um, a lot of our wells don't, but this one did. So we started pumping it. I uh, actually let it pump for 20 hours. And here's the final result here. Okay, so you can see this is what the water looked like after 20 hours. And just to compare, I have a freshly unopened bottle of drinking water here beside it. No stuff. No settling of stuff to the bottom. No nothing. Now, she did have some uh, other issues being low pH and stuff that she's going to have to treat um, but the main thing being is is she doesn't have all the sediment coming in anymore um, you know again these are these are things that we check out um, every well is different just another another good uh, example here of how uh, every well is different some of them take longer to develop some of them um, you know they don't you can develop them when you start using them um, others need to be developed pretty heavily um, but uh, ever ever since we went up there um, she hasn't had any other issues as far as seeing any more sediment in her water um, so just a little quick video tip out there for you on uh, water well development um, again our our types of wells uh, you know it's a little bit different than some of the wells done in the sand country or using a uh, mud mud rotary rig um, 
but nevertheless, uh, just video for you out there. Uh, thought you thought you'd be interested in it. I actually um, thought there was a problem uh, going on with this well, some sediment and stuff coming into it, but um, uh, that's not the case. So, Exhibit A, Exhibit B. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming up.